lot of benefit for us. All right, so now the next entry was she got the revenue for 400 and it was services were performed. She posted up to account receivable. There's entry eight in case it got missed. She, because she's going on without me here. All right, that was fantastic. Revenue increased, that's right. And so did account receivable, next. Received and she posted them up. 550 from customers for future service. We see 550 from customers for future services. What do you think we should do, Michelle? Unearned. True. Let's call it services payable. Write down services payable. S E R slash P. Okay. Um, when you're with Mike, that's at least called advanced. That is called um, unearned revenue. An oxymoron. An incorrect English. Can be also called advances from customers. Can't technically for some reasons I don't agree with, but they can't call it services payable. But here with Mike, please do that. What's the other account? Cash. True, write it down. Is services payable, increasing or decreasing? Increasing, no, de no decreasing because they paid us for it. Go make a T account. Go make a T account over make a services payable T. We have one up there, you see it? So you're saying we owe more service or less service after they give us X amount of dollars, you were saying? More service. They owe us less service. We owe, I'm, we, I'm saying, do we owe them or do they, I'm just saying we owe, we owe them. more service or less service after they give us more money? More. More. Michelle? More. So what happened is we owe 1400 in services. You see that 1400 up there in that T account? Mm -hmm. Now they gave us how much, Matt? How much more money we got from customers? 550. We got 550 more. They paid us in advance. So do we owe more service or less service? It is. I want to make sure she understands that, though, man. No, I don't, I don't understand. So, suppose you, so you bought an airplane ticket to Miami, okay? You give them, they give you, you give them five hundred fifty dollars. They give you a piece of paper that are called tickets. When you show up for the airplane, do you expect the airplane to be there on the date you expect it to be there? Yes. You expect it to be there. Mm -hmm. You go down to Newark Airport. You expect the plane to be there. True. Mm -hmm. You're ready to go. You got your luggage. You know why? You, you know why you expect the plane to be there? Michelle, step away so we can just, you, you're, you're good for this, you're prettier than Matt, for sure. <laughs> just so our customers, and, but Michelle, the point is this, the payable's increasing because they owe you more service. When you give someone money, when someone gives you money in advance for business, you owe them now. If you're a lawyer, which you probably, you look like a lawyer, if someone gives you money, Guess what? They expect you to show up in court when you say you are. You, get, you charge them $2,000 for a court case. They don't expect you to not be there, you know. True? True. So payable's increasing. Debit or credit to service payable? Credit. Correct answer. Do it. Five fifty. That's right. Good. Is cash increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Increasing because they're paying us in advance. Debit or credit? She says cash is increasing. Correct answer. Debit or credit? She's right. Journal post. Now she journals, now she's going to post. As I say, on the test, yes, make debits come first. If you're on a test, you can erase it, make it look pretty. But when you're first doing it, the main thing is to get the stuff down on paper, Matt. So if it comes into your mind, service payable first, it's better to put that down. Because you can always cross that out. You can always like, do that entry and then say to yourself, oh, yeah, 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 they might take a point off on me if I put... Um, uh, credits first, so I'll just erase it and put service payable on the bottom. I put, ca I put cash on the left side, right? Yes. Because it's increasing. Okay. And that's entry nine. We're good. Does that make sense? Does that journal entry make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Next. Is that it? That was entry ten. That was ten, she said. That's why it's good to put the numbers next to it on the journal entries also as you go is another good habit to do. I didn't stress that. Uh, the entry nine, she's right, yeah, he's right, of course. Nine was uh, the 400, account receivable increase. Why did it increase? Because we performed a service in entry nine. The credit was to the revenue. And now entry 10 is we got cash. Why could someone owe us service? Now what's the next thing it says, is that it? Now it's uh Adjust the data. All right, so we got to do now before we do that, make a trial balance. You got a calculator with you, Michelle? Yes. Good, because sometimes I say, I almost expected her to say no. She brought her hockey stick with her. 
Some students, you know, if you're going to play hockey, I always say bring your hockey stick and skates with you. If you're going to do accounting, it's always nice to bring a calculator. So now what she's going to do, now you know how to, now what she's going to do, she's going to add all the pluses, true, Michelle? Yep. Like in the cash account, 2790 plus 12 plus 14 plus 55, 550, then she's going to minus the right side. And she's going to box it with brackets on the bottom on the natural side. And we'll be right back. And she's going to make a trial balance. All right.